Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Serial of Midnight. In the last few days since I posted my last video, uh, I've had a change of, not a change of heart. Okay, so the last video that I did was Mad at Disney? Question mark. And it was kind of me expressing my reservations about the direction that Disney's going. Um, I think for the most part, you guys have been understanding. It hasn't gotten a ton of traction yet. And the couple of days since I've posted that video up, um, I feel better. Like it's crazy. Like I've had a chance to, it's like by saying it and by getting it out there, I was able to put some of it away. And you know, the more that I think about it, um, when you're a really big fan of something, actually most of the time, when you're a really big fan of something, you criticize it more than most people do because you're precious about it and you really care about it and it means a lot to you. And maybe you take things a little more seriously than you should. Maybe you are unwilling to um, to deal with change. I think all of those things are true. I think they're true in a lot of a lot of aspects of our of our society. So it's crazy that by talking about that, getting that video out there, I, I feel like I'm now able to say, okay, here are some of the things about Disney that I'm not super crazy about, and I still love Disney. And it doesn't change who I am. It's something that I have to work through. And I think I even said that in the video, like, hey, I have to work through this. So now I can get on with making content about Disney. Like it, it was a stumbling block in my way. And so now today I can come to you and we can talk about the life and times of Scrooge McDuck and why this is awesome and why uh, it is essential reading for a comic book fan and a Disney fan. So let's dig into this. Let's take a seven second break for that sweet theme song and we'll be back right after this. All right, guys, so here we are. We got we got Uncle Scrooge on the back of this book. We got Uncle Scrooge on my shirt. I'm feeling it again, you guys. I'm feeling the Disney. I'm feeling it. So uh, let's, okay, settle down. I need to settle down so I can get my points across. All right, all right. So, um, so we're gonna, we're gonna talk, talk about, um, we're gonna talk about the life and times of Scrooge McDuck. This is a, it's Walt Disney's, uh, it's Walt Disney property. This is published by Gemstone. This is by a, a guy called Don Rosa. And I will show you, uh, I have had Mr. Rosa autograph this book for me. My name is Heath and that's personalized to me. So in the, oh, I'm going to start mentioning dates and I'm not sure. Okay. So in the, in the old days, in the forties, maybe in the fifties, definitely the fifties into the sixties, uh, the duck comics, the Donald duck comics, uncle Scrooge comics. They were, they were comics that came out all the time. Like every month they, they were, uh, all these comic books, and it was the Adventures of the Ducks. You know, Huey, Dewey, Louie, Scrooge, Donald. But here's the cool thing: like they were adventure stories, okay? And and here we'll just like you can see, like these are uh, stories that fleshed out the characters far beyond the cartoons. They were, you know, Western stories and like South American Indiana Jones kind of stories. They were written by a guy called Carl Barks. And in the early days, um, writers didn't get, and I believe he was the artist as well, writers didn't get recognition for the work that they were doing on the comics that they were creating. So the Duck comics were frequently credited to Walt Disney. Same with, there was a Mickey, car, uh, Mickey comic book as well, Mickey Mouse comic book adventure. Like he was kind of a little bit more of a jerk than he was in the, co in the cartoons. Like Mickey was a little bit more acerbic, uh, but they were meant to tap into, I guess, that uh, more pulp, serial, comic book crowd. So uh, Carl Barks became known as the guy who made the good ones. Like the, hey, where are the, uh, I'm looking for those, those duck comic books that were, that are done by the good, the, like the good one, where he was, you know, telling adventure stories, uh, the Klondike sort of stuff. You'd have like, you know, oh, an outrunning a bear, you know, like camping trips gone wrong, but they were adventure stories. And so for years, there's like a legacy of Carl, Carl Barks duck comics. And those stories were the inspiration for Disney's DuckTales, the cartoon. Um, not always a direct adaptation, but always 
a heavy, heavy influence on uh, Disney's DuckTales and the Disney Afternoon. Those adventure stories, and if you've seen it, if you've even seen the new one, you know what I'm talking about. Like, there's a huge difference between, um, like, Chip and Dale and Donald Duck, uh, like, fighting at a Christmas tree, or, like, you know, those old 40s cartoons, maybe even the 30s, uh, classic Disney cartoons. There's a big difference between that and the stories we got on DuckTales, where they're in space, and there's, like, robots, and there's you know, like, uh, we're going going to the moon and then we're going to go to South America to this, like this Aztec temple, this, these Incan ruins, like that sort of thing came from the comic books and it became, um, I don't want to say it hit a pinnacle because I think the Carl Barks stuff itself is a pinnacle, but the guy who succeeded, who came after Carl Barks was Don Rosa. And he very much picked up the torch and carried it further uh, into a new generation. So this book, for instance, uh, is, let's see, it is a compilation of issues from Uncle Scrooge. Uh, I guess they're all from Uncle Scrooge. These are issues 285 through 296 of the Uncle Scrooge comic from 94 to roughly 1996. Um, and they were, let's see, they were, uh, Written and drawn by Don Rosa. Um, here's a forward that's basically giving us the story of this book. You know, I love a good forward in a book. And then we're into it. So look, like, this is what we're talking about. Like, we have uncles. It's every, like, you like DuckTales? Look at this. Like, this is, this is DuckTales. We have, we have Uncle Scrooge. There's, like, a castle, a knight. Look, 1877. Uh... We have the money bin. We have like a shovel in the money. All that stuff. And then look, first page, Uncle Scrooge swimming in the money. And so this book is uh, acclaimed because it, it, it bridged a gap between, oh, this is cute. This is for kids. This is... Uh, entertainment that is beneath us, right? Like, you know, oh, it's... I gotta show this cover as well. Like, check that out. Super cool stuff. Uh, it bridged a gap between this is, you know, comics are for kids, Uncle Scrooge is for kids, this is all for kids. But it married those images with really exciting stories and beyond that, really heartfelt, meaningful drama at a, like, a duck level. <laughs> like, there's no other way to say it. Like, again, if you watch DuckTales, it's these characters, the classic Disney characters, but they are, um, they go to some dramatic places in those things, you know, like regretting the past and you wish you could have taken this turn in the past instead of this one. And what would my life be like if I'd been with that girl instead of, you know, going off in pursuit of business? A lot of that, it's in here. And this book won the prestigious Eisner Award in 1995. Um, the Eisner Award, named after Will Eisner, the creator of The Spirit. Don't think about that, that Frank Miller movie. Uh, think about good comic books, like the standard of excellence. Will Eisner was uh, such a pioneer for narrative art. So uh, every year we have an Eisner Award. Actually, we have multiple Eisner Awards. But they this one for I don't, Best Serialized Story. That's what it won. 1995 Best Serialized Story. Won an Eisner Award. Uh, so there are other comic books that, uh, particularly now they're doing like archive editions of the Carl Barks stuff. And, uh, and I'm sure that the Don Rosa stuff is collected too, but this is kind of what is recognized as the, a crowning achievement for Disney comic books. Uh, you hear people talk about the duck stories. They always talk about the life and times of Scrooge McDuck. So I don't know, that's a good way for us to kick off our Disney content, right? Like, hey, I'm not afraid of Disney anymore. I'm kind of mad about some of the stuff that they're doing, but i that's on me, y'all, and I got to get over it, and we're going to move forward with cool stuff, including 
Disney. And this is it. Guys, check out the life and times of Scrooge McDuck if this is something you'd be interested in. I, I think you should. We interrupt this video already in progress. Guys, I was looking for a link for this book to put in the show notes in case anybody wanted to pick it up. And it's out of print. Like all printings of this book have gone out of print. It's going for a lot of money. So the video still stands if you get a chance to pick it up. Uh, and if you're at a flea market, if you're at a secondhand bookstore, uh, pick it up, especially if it's a good price. But otherwise, check your library because this book is uh, it's awesome and it needs to be read. All right, now back to me. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Check out SerialMidnight.com. Check us out on Twitter at SerialMidnight. Uh, engage in the comments below. Tell me what you think about it. Give us a thumbs up if you like this. Help other people find this. You know, YouTube's kind of a weird place now. Um, you know, and it, the more customer, not customer, the more uh, community, that's the word I was looking for, the more community engagement that videos get, the more YouTube is going to be able to look at them and be like, oh, well, people are watching this, so maybe we'll promote it. Um, Here's a peek behind the curtain. So uh, this video, this, this channel is about a year old and I was going to, um, you know, I'm not in this for the money, obviously. I have refused to put any advertisements on the website. Um, it would be nice though to make a couple of pennies so that maybe I could at some point get a better camera. Obviously I'm doing this on an iPhone. Uh, maybe better, some, some better production. I don't know. But I, I was really, you know, marching towards that, uh, that, time that that barrier where you can get monetized on youtube and just as soon as i hit it they're like oh we've changed it and now you have to have a thousand subscribers and you have to have you know like 76 years of <laughs> view minutes or whatever and uh it's a little bit discouraging because i understand that youtube as a business doesn't really want to promote videos that they don't have a personal stake in financial gain uh, right, so like if they're not making any money on a video, why are they going to promote it? So that's where you come in. You can hit that like button. You can share it. You can do whatever you need to do with this video. But help me get it out there. Help us help other people find this content, and I would really appreciate it, guys. You're awesome. I love you. Thank you. I'll catch you next time. Bye.